Oh no, Harry and Meghan actually banned from the world famous Buckingham Palace as ever. Let me explain. Morning, nice to see you today on a beautiful, glistening, sunny day here in London town. You can see that we've now come into, of course, spring, you know, so the clocks have now gone forward and it feels a lot better, a little warmer, you know, and a lot brighter in the mornings and a little bit longer in the evenings. Definitely well worth that, isn't it? You know, certainly. Definitely makes you feel better about yourself, doesn't it? Also, thank you so much for your very kind comments about our recent story regarding, of course, the Beatles and Princess Margaret and the fact that she got very angry when they decided to go against her elder sister, our wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. Yes, rightly so. It's all about family, isn't it? That's what you should stick up for. If you can't do that, then, well, what is there left, really? It's interesting, though, isn't it, how you find these stories out many years later. I liked Princess Margaret. I thought she stood for what she meant and certainly didn't suffer fools, as we've now found out, obviously. Interesting though, isn't it, how royal stories develops because as we know, Harry and Meghan were asked to vacate Frogmore Cottage, not exactly a cottage in my opinion, but there you go, and they were going to be allowed a bit of time if they gave one month's notice to, uh, you know, bed down in Buckingham Palace, which is currently being, you know, heavily refurbished right now. And allegedly when that gets done in around about five to seven years time, apparently His Majesty the King may move back in there. Well, with 775 rooms, a lot of people are speculating why they're spending so much money if nobody actually wants to move back in. But that's another problem as ever. I'll explain that more in, in another video. It's going to be interesting though. But what's interesting now is, is that as we get geared up for Buckingham Palace once again reopening for yet another season, which is, let me tell you, definitely worth a visit. You know, I've been lucky enough to attend on many occasions and it's just one of those places that you do wander around with great fascination knowing what's gone on in these wonderful rooms. But this particular new idea is actually developed Divided a lot of people because for the very first time you will be able to enter the room that is the room that guides the royals onto the famous balcony the world famous balcony that everybody waves from of course uh, from all those spectacular occasions like of uh, you know the platinum jubilee with our late monarch remember that that was a wonderful moment in history but there's been so many wonderful moment in histories on that royal balcony so why are Harry and Meghan banned? Let me explain. The people behind that particular venture are very concerned about this. That's right. No, not the waxworks. Lookalikes coming in and wanted to capitalise on dressing like Harry and Meghan in regalia or indeed one of her famous frocks, perhaps clutching a copy of his book Spare and getting a picture taken on the balcony, which then could be sent around the world for fakery. You know, people might get confused as to whether Harry and Meghan allegedly are now back in the royal fold. This is serious, trust me. A very well-placed source who's looking after those particular tours will be rooting out any lookalikes to make sure that they behave. That's not to say that they won't be allowed to do a, a generic picture, but it would be under close scrutiny and there would be no publicity stunts of, you know, perhaps holding Archie or Lily. That would be a first in itself though, wouldn't it, you know? And as I said, no copies of the book Spare or something like that. A lot of people will see this as an opportunistic moment. I don't know about you, I'm unsure about this because I think it takes the magic away of one of the very few areas that we now don't know about the British monarchy. The removal of the red curtain and then seeing exactly what goes on behind it. Are you for it or against it? And ah, oh, more importantly, you're thrilled that Harry and Meghan lookalikes, at least, will be banned from the balcony. It's a developing story. When I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.